gonna talk a little bit about Murph prep today. We're gonna do a workout and talk about how you can kind of build up to the full volume of Murph, run a mile, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, run a mile with a 20 pound or 14 pound weight vest on. So there's different ways you can break that down and the thing that I wanna focus in on is the total poundage that you're actually moving when you do those uh, pull-ups, push-ups, and air squats, right? So if we add the 20 pound vest or the 14 pound vest, you can multiply those numbers out so 100 times 20 is gonna give you 2,000 pounds moved, right? If we're adding that 20 pounds to our body weight, we're not gonna count our body weight, that's, we're just gonna say that that's zero, right? So if I take that 2,000 pounds and then let's say I add some more weight. So on the pull-ups, I'm going to do weighted pull-ups at 30 pounds or 40 pounds. Um, divide that 2,000 pounds by the extra number or the extra amount that you're carrying. So if I divide that by 30, that's gonna give me a different amount of reps to move the same amount of pounds, right? So that's one way that you can kind of break up uh, the work and, and get a different stimulus, but still get the total pounds moved, or you're gonna operate at a percentage of the total pounds moved for the day to kind of build up to that full volume. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna add an extra 10 pounds to my weight vest. So I'm gonna be moving at 30 pounds. That would break down the pull-ups to 67, the push-ups to 134, and the air squats to 200. So in order to achieve the same volume in pounds moved by adding a 30 pound vest rather than a 20 pound vest, those are the reps that I would have to do to achieve that uh, to get the same amount of poundage. I'm gonna operate at 75% of that total volume because we're not quite to Murph yet. We're not quite to Memorial Day or July 4th. I've heard uh, some people are gonna move their Murph, Memorial Day Murph to July 4th. Uh, just so hopefully that more gyms can participate, more people can participate in the workout together. But that being said, uh, I'm gonna take 75% of that volume of the reps, which is gonna give me 50, 100, and 150 for the total volume of those reps today. And the way that I wanna break that down is um, five rounds of 10 pull-up, 20 push-up, and 30 air squats, mixed in with pulling a sled outside rather than running. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda still combine a lot of the total volume or 75% of that total volume in terms of the poundage, but we're just gonna get there in a different way that provides a different stimulus that can help you build to the ultimate goal of performing MRF or doing better at MRF on Memorial Day or July 4th. So we're talking about changing up the total loading, volume reps, all that good stuff. The other thing I'm gonna change is instead of going for a run, I'm gonna pull a sled. Now, not everybody has a sled. It's not a piece of equipment that's usually on the top of everybody's item list. So you might have a sandbag, rucksack, or strongman bag, which I'm gonna use a strongman bag today, and we're gonna take a look at how you can turn that into a sled. So all I did with some of this mess here is I got uh, two tie downs or two ratchet straps, and I wrapped it around either way of the strongman bag. So one around this way and another one coming around so they crisscross in the center. I put a um, ring strap in between there, so that's gonna be kind of my anchor point. So now that you've got the straps on here and you've got that anchor point, I could thread a rope through there, I can pull the, with the rope over my shoulder, I can attach it around my waist, I can attach a longer rope to it and pull. So some things you might have just laying around the house, some tie downs, some toe straps, something that's easy accessible that you can have like multi-use for in terms of using in your everyday life and you can also bring it in the gym. Just an easy way to kind of make a, a, a sled, especially when we're in this situation where everybody's working out from home, you don't have a whole lot to spend on equipment and those kind of things. It is worth noting, this is not meant to be pulled as a sled. So don't pull it on concrete. This is a tough, really tough sandbag. The Cordura material is really strong. Uh, stitching's all really good and all that, but we don't wanna drag this across a really rough surface. You're probably gonna rip a hole in it really fast. So today I'm either gonna be pulling it on this rubber when I come back in the gym or go outside, get in the grass, pull it across somewhere there. This is meant to be picked up and put down. It's not necessarily meant to be pulled across the ground. So just be aware of that with any of the stuff you're using, a rucksack, a sandbag, if it's got handles on it or something like that that you can thread a rope through and you wanna pull it as a sled, all that's fine. Just be aware of the surface that you're actually pulling it on. I've been waiting for the chance to prove myself.
All right, so workout was awesome. Uh, sled held up well with the with the straps. Um, yeah, give it a go. I'm gonna put it the, in the description, kind of the breakdown of some of that math that we talked about at the beginning. Um, if you don't have a weight vest or if you've never done Murph vested and that's a little bit intimidating for you, just take three quarters of the reps instead, right? So you'll end up doing a few more reps than what I did here in this workout, but because you're not wearing a vest, you know, it'll count towards the same poundage essentially, right? Um, <clears throat> if you've never worn a vest in Murph and you want to wear a vest in Murph, just put on the 20 pounder today and do this. Again, we're operating at 75% of max capacity in terms of total volume. So this would be a great way to test out what, what, how do you feel on your pull-ups, your push-ups, your air squats vested, right? Or just breathing, you're gonna find out, is gonna be one of the more difficult things. Figure out what it's like to have that extra weight sitting down on your chest, and every time you try to take a breath, those muscles have to work a lot harder. So, great workout. Again, test yourself anywhere, anywhere you can. Like, subscribe, comment below for questions, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.